The owner of the legendary NFL New England Patriots is facing charges of soliciting prostitution. Police say they have video evidence of Robert Kraft inside the day spa. It's part of a larger eight-month investigation into sex trafficking. Janet Shamlian is in Jupiter, Florida. The Orchids of Asia spa is closed and its owners under arrest, but has become an unlikely attraction. It's here, police say, Patriots owner Robert Kraft and two dozen others were videotaped soliciting prostitution from women illegally trafficked in the sex trade, a charge Kraft has denied. The question was, uh, does the video contain Mr. Kraft inside receiving the alleged acts? The answer to that is yes. Authorities say it happened days before the 77-year-old won his sixth Super Bowl. An embarrassment for one of the most powerful men in sports, and it could result in disciplinary action from the NFL if it finds he violated its code of conduct. When Indianapolis Colts owner Jim Ursay pled guilty to driving under the influence in 2014, he was suspended for six games and fined the maximum $500,000. That would be a drop in the bucket for Kraft, reportedly worth more than $6 billion. So far, the league has said only it's monitoring the situation. The bust followed a sweeping investigation on human trafficking. The alleged prostitutes were recent Chinese immigrants who come to the U.S. with the promise of legitimate work, but were forced to live in the spas and service an average of eight men each day. They couldn't speak English and had no means of surviving on their own. The Tara Kennedy runs a human trafficking yeah, awareness group in South Florida. It's a huge issue and we just need to be more aware. Kennedy says it's a problem nationwide. As many as 9,000 illicit massage parlors or spas were operating, according to a 2018 report. The businesses are often tied to each other and to a larger criminal network in the country where the women are coming from. They're actually doing things that they they're don't want to do or they're forced to do. They are victims. As for Robert Kraft, his misdemeanor charges are punishable by a fine and up to 60 days in jail. However, there's a provision here in Florida that allows first-time offenders to avoid any time behind bars. Rena, Janet, thank you.